Hey, Missy. Yeah. I have a present for you. Not a snake, is it? Oh, that is gross. Well, Do you want to look at them? No, that's disgusting. Hello, <laughs> Meredith. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm meteorologist Will Haney, and flu season is in full swing. If it hasn't hit your office or your school yet, it might at some point. It's cold few working theories as to why flu spreads a little bit more prevalently this time of year. The first one is that more people are cooped up indoors with sealed windows, doors. You're breathing the same air. You're breathing the same air. As your coworkers or your friends. Everybody say hi, boss. Hi, everybody. It's a little bit easier for that virus to spread. Now, another theory is that this time of year, because of the shorter daylight time, you actually uh, don't produce as much melatonin or as much vitamin D, and that could weaken your immune system. And lastly, the fact that it's a colder, drier time of the year, there's some that think that could help the spread of the influenza virus. So I saw this post floating around on Facebook. It was this teacher out in Idaho that did a pretty cool experiment to demonstrate the importance of washing your hands this time of year, and we're going to recreate it. All right, so a few things needed for this experiment. One, you need some white bread. Two, you need some Ziploc bags. Three, probably some latex gloves for our control in the experiment. So I gotta go to the store really quick and get some of those things. Going to the store and we're gonna get some bread. The bread aisle is packed. All right, we're gonna go for the mother's saw. So many choices. Let me go with this one. Got our baggies, got my bread. All right, so I have some latex gloves and I'm back at the station now. We're gonna put some of my coworkers to the test. Got the latex gloves. We have our bread and I have coworkers. Come in. Right Ziploc fresh white bread. You guys haven't washed your hands in a couple hours ish. Nope. You've touched keyboards. And, yeah. Okay. Just kind of touch it, pat your hands on it. Okay, good. Very good. Go ahead and give it to Heidi. <laughs> this is the weirdest <laughs> Yes. Good. Massage the bread. I'm Does it feel good? Everywhere. We'll have to vacuum later. Drop that in. <laughs> We'll see if that's good. Now you guys go wash your hands, like really okay. good, and then come right back. Okay. They've returned with washed hands. Clean! Sparkling clean. <laughs> Do the same thing you just did. Just kind of pat it around. All right. This is my wonder bread. Hey, you want to be a part of this experiment? <laughs> oh wait, give it to Heidi. What do y'all do? Okay. <laughs> I have to wrap the bread, don't I? There you go. Right. Good job. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a vacuum. <laughs> How do you tell between my germs and her germs? My it's just germs in general, Missy. This last piece, no one touches. Oh. You know what that's called in science? What? It's called a control. Oh, there we go. There you go. Controlling the experiment. It's the control. All right. Okay. All right, so Meredith is the part of the experiment. We're testing hand sanitizer versus washing your hands. So hold that. She has not used hand sanitizer yet. Yeah. Kind of pat it, move it around, okay? Getting some germs potentially on said bread. And now drop it in. Okay. Now go apply some hand sanitizer. Come right back. Right there. On the wall. There you go. Mom always told me it was fake. She, say that again? My mom always told me hand sanitizer was fake. <laughs> we'll see how fake yeah. it is. You've applied the hand sanitizer. Okay. Pat that bread again. It's kind of same amount you just did. Okay, she's handled the bread and it's in the bag. Sealed forever. All right, cool, thank you. All right, this last slice, I'm actually gonna rub on our doors entering into the bathroom. All right, sorry, ladies room. Men's room, men's room. Ugh. It's kind of gross to think about the germs on this slice. I'm back in the weather office now. I have my six slices of bread right here. 
I have them all marked. And full disclosure, I did open these just for a second to add about a tablespoon of water into each of the bags. That's just to help some bacteria or mold grow on the bread. Now in the coming days, weeks, we're gonna be closely watching these slices and hopefully they don't start to stink too bad. And the working hypothesis is that the more germs on that slice of bread, the more mold or bacteria growth will be on it. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. All right, it's Christmas morning here and it's been about a week since I put the bread in the bags. Let's check it out. I don't see anything on our dirty hand slices. What's interesting is Missy and Heidi's washed hand slice is the first one to show any sign of mold. I don't know, maybe there was a little bit more moisture in that bag. The other ones, not so much. All right, work in the morning show, so I'm a little tired. It's a little bit after 2 a.m., but it's two days after Christmas. Let's check out our moldy developments. So still the dirty hands, not really showing much. Where it gets interesting is our washed hands one is actually showing some mold. Probably the most significant, we got two spots right there. Our bathroom door is now also showing a decent mold growth right there. And then our control, which again, this is the one we're comparing everything to, is even showing some as well. All right, let's see what we have. It's been a few days. I was off for New Year's. New year, new mold. Oh yeah. What is that? It's yellow. Ugh. Dirty hands, starting to get nasty. Meredith though, not really. Got some white fuzz. Washed hands just shows the blue mold. Hand sanitizer, Meredith, apparently your hands are have something about them. And then the bathroom door has a big old blue spot that has just grown. And for the most part, the control hasn't changed a whole lot. The biggest one is this dirty hands one. I don't know what that yellow is, but it's gross. All right, everybody. So it's now been just shy of four weeks since I first put the bread in the bags. We got some good mold growth going on. I'm probably going to end this, but obviously let's take a look at those final results. Starting with our control, you see a pretty significant bluish white fuzzy mold spot. Bathroom door, surprisingly not showing even as much mold or as nasty of looking mold as our control. As we look a little bit farther up, the wash hands with Missy and Heidi showing, yeah, some decent mold growth, and it's pretty consistent across the entire slice. The hand sanitizer slice, miraculously not showing a whole lot at all. That could be also, maybe I put a little less water in that one by accident or something, but I thought it was pretty consistent. So that one was the most surprising, but perhaps what wasn't surprising is the dirty hand slices. Just disgusting. I've never even seen that yellow mold in my life before. And both of them with the dirty hands have the yellow and you really can't make that out much in our control, if at all. So that's definitely, I think, some sort of sign. So there could have been some inconsistencies in our experiment. I took water originally from the water cooler jug, just a splash in each of the slices. There could have been a little bit of an inconsistency in the amount though. There's our control, definitely gross, but the big takeaway is the yellow nastiness in both of our dirty hand slices. I think that's pretty telling, at least it is for me. Definitely a reminder to wash those hands this flu season. Uh, if you want to do this experiment, maybe you're a science teacher or maybe a parent at home, uh, the Ziplocs that I used, they didn't really stink too bad at all. Um, they look disgusting though. Um, but I would love to see your results. I'm going to link some instructions in the web article, so make sure you check that out. And also, I'd appreciate a follow or a like on my Facebook page. You can check me out at Will Haney WWMT. Again, thanks for watching, and hopefully, you stay flu free this flu season.